Welcome to my Bayeski YouTube channel. It's a great evening, and it is evening. <laughs> it's dark outside, as you can see. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working all day. It's been a lovely, lovely day working with crystals. Uh, some amazing crystals about to come up as usual on mybayeski.com. Some a gorgeous um, mystical topaz um, that I've been working with for a while. I really love the energy of that. Oh, it's not a crystal! Yeah, okay. Take care, mate. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've talked about this before, guys. Anyway, it's an interesting subject on crystals, and uh, tonight is no different from any other night when we talk about a beautiful bag of uh, gems. Uh, hang on a minute. Somebody asked me a question the other day, and I that's just sprung to mind. Let me just... See if I can just grab hold. Now I don't do this often and I am just answering a question. However, every now and again I'll um, I'll do something which is slightly different that I normally do just to, you know, I think sometimes it's nice to change uh, and have change in your life a little bit and constantly working with <coughs> crystals sometimes a client who may be getting married or something very special that they want to gift a, a man wants to give to a woman I'll get a message and somebody will say Mark would you work on a certain crystal for me um, it's going to be set by uh, my local jeweler but before I start the work on that I'd like you to you know work on a crystal for me and I said, sure. And then sometimes somebody will ask me. And I, it has to feel right as well. Um, I really want a, a gemstone and I'd like you to choose it on behalf because I don't have any idea. I'm, we're talking about energy, by the way, not, not a um, gemstone. We're talking about energy. So I have to then uh, scout and work hard, try and ask the right people for certain gemstones. So the, the question was put to me, do I ever work with high grade uh, gemstones and yeah sometimes I do and um, I am actually working on one now um, do you want to have a look at it <laughs> there it is it's tiny but it's uh, a beautiful beautiful piece it's from uh, Africa and um, have I worked up with these before many times it's an emerald and uh, it's a juicy, juicy, juicy em emerald. It's a few carrots, and uh, I'll just show it you. <laughs> Can you see it? Uh, you probably can't see it, eh? Uh, no, look at his side. Nah, it's difficult to see. It's, uh, oof. <laughs> Get it up at that light, and you see its beauty. So, yeah. I do and sometimes just sometimes I will feel the pull to buy a diamond or um, a ruby or a sapphire or an emerald and I'll work on that for who knows a year six months three months depending on how it feels and when I'm feeling the energy and how I'd like to work with that crystal and what I'd like to put into it. So yeah, so there you go. There's a, a beauty. Um, literally thousands of uh, euros, a bit like Moldavite really now. Thousands of euros now. If you want a, a great, a beautiful grade Moldavite now, Besson, it's, it's, it's literally top hundreds and thousands. So yeah, interesting. Gone off on one, but sometimes it's nice too. So tonight, the topic of conversation is health, well-being, and the secrets to cleansing, protection, clearing, and being strong, both mind, body, and spirit. So let's get started, shall we? Do you want to come a bit closer? <laughs> Good. Okay, so in my years of healing, somebody asked me not so long ago, what is the most important thing you discovered? when you were a healer with um, the body balance? And I said, that's a great question. 
I've often made videos about the body balance and um, certain subjects of, um, let's say, splinter conversations of the body balance, mind, body, spirit, the physical, the emotional, the mental, and um, the whole food that you put inside you. All of these things are really important, including exercise. But let's talk about something today, which is never really talked about. Only a few people talk about this because it's not mainstream thinking. But I guess as a healer, I can only say to you what I've learned as a healer with my clients. So it's important that I share certain information. It may not be 100% accurate, but I did see certain patterns that I thought there is something in this. So body balance, what is uh, the perfect body um, per se? Now don't get off on one. What I mean by that is what, what can make you um, as balanced as possible, whether it's physical, whether it's emotional, whether it's spiritual. The one thing I, I found fascinating, and I often share this with people, is that a lot of people are on the cusp of um, a toxic cleanse at any given moment. And depending on who you're around, depending on what you're listening to, as in the mainstream fear program, um, who you partner up with or who you have dinner with, whether they are filled with love or filled with abuse, what your eyes are constantly focused on and what your mind allows in and stays. So all of these things are all connected one way or another to the body balance. So it's one big aspect that we very rarely look at. So, okay, prove your point, Mark. Well, I've known a lot of nurses and I've healed a lot of nurses. A lot of those nurses that I healed through the years that I've worked, some were always in a very low frequency, low vibration, and some were very, very strong and powerful in frequency and vibration. Their energetic level was incredible and other nurses, their energetic level was very, very low. There is something also within this conversation that touches upon the subject matter of being sensitive. So a sensitive is somebody that feels, and depending on how long you hold on to certain feelings, that has a great effect on the physical. So I think what I'm trying to say is that what I noticed is that when people are in the vicinity of good energy, when people are in the vicinity of positive people, when people are doing things that their eyes see love, happiness, joy, uh, creativity, giving, sharing, caring, all of those frequencies, all of those uh, experiences, all of those energies. When you are outside and exercising your body in a, in a, a really good manner, you find that the body is resilient and has a frequency that I call the perfect balance whereby your body is constantly detoxing all the time, cleansing constantly without even realizing. So you might cough and, and spit up some phlegm or you might blow your nose or you might go to the toilet or you might sweat um, or many other things. Okay, so the body is constantly cleansing and detoxing as you walk through life and you find happiness and joy. There is another side to this coin where the nurses that I met were always in fear. 
always sad, always in constant worry, always being abused by their seniors because they saw injustice. Um, they were always in the vicinity of people being negative and angry and judgmental. And these types of people who were very sensitive to all of it, I noticed that they became, let's say, toxic. And in that moment of being toxic, they ate the same as the other nurse. They lived, they worked, they, they did all the same things, but slightly different environment. And one chose to be in the energy of huge challenge across to bear negativity. I was feeling bad. Self-worth was, was just forget it. And on the other hand, the other nurse was strong, believed in themselves, only surrounded themselves with beautiful people, didn't allow negativity to affect them, became stronger than all of those things that the sensitive struggled to do. So what I noticed in the two nurses that the nurse who was sensitive and struggled to let go of things and really beat herself up and allowed other people to be her emotional punch bag, she was always in the energy of detox. One would say that that's a cold or a flu or drained or exhausted, but I saw it as something completely different. I saw it that the body was working very hard to detox, to clear. So what is detoxing? What is this. I call it spiritual detox, by the way. We're not just talking physical, the body physical, but we're talking about the spiritual detox. So the exhaustion, the, the feeling of helplessness, of struggling with life in all aspects, the knee-jerk reactions, which were so obvious that it wasn't her, but it was the frustration and the need to release. That's a detox. That's a body detox. Now, I'm not saying that everybody who reacts that way, we should, um, you know, say, oh, it's okay, you're detoxing, but there is something in it. There is something in this that we don't really talk about and we should have a conversation about. We should be able to look at this, that there are certain people who struggle because of their life and because of their surroundings and the people who are in their lives and what they f constantly focus on. What I noticed about these nurses is that like I said, they were always coming to me and they were always spiritually detoxing. Detoxing, trying to release negative energy that has built up from their mind, from their eyes, which they saw uh, wrongdoings, uh, from their ears, what they heard, awful things said about them or to other people. And sometimes the physical abuse as well. So all of these energies were entering into their body and from there their body was trying to spiritually detox so it was releasing all the time and after a healing session they would feel a lot better uh, inner peace would set in and then the body would start to heal itself you've often heard me say if you've ever watched my videos that you can never heal on a spiritual level if you are filled with fear you can't it's impossible because there is something that is happening constantly in your body when you are living in fear. So your mind is constantly in fear. That fear energy affects the whole body, both mind, body, spirit. It physically affects everything, slows everything down. It makes everything more challenging. So your balance is totally thrown sideways, smashed all over the place. And it's hard to even see, think, feel, or know what to do. Because there are times that a dog would feel sick and simply drink water and lie down until the sickness is gone. We have to do the same thing. We call it crashing or we call it breakdown. These moments where you just lay in bed and drink, whether it's ginger and 
lemon juice, whether it's water, or whether you cry all the way through that process of detoxing. And tears is definitely uh, a detox as well. So these things are important to recognize. When you recognize that, you go, oh, Jesus, right, I get it now. I understand now. So you're not really sick because of food, because your, uh, your body is weak. It's not that. It's just that your body is struggling to try and clear something that is very difficult to clear out. But in time, it does. Some people live with it forever. But depending on, on what you decide you want to do with your life, you can either live in that toxin world of thoughts and feelings and then that will relate to your body deteriorating and eventually turning into a physical illness or huge detox process that the body might not be able to detox anymore because the body warriors are not strong enough. So this is important that we talk about this and we should talk about it now for at least another two years because what we've been through right now has been probably the most, well, in my lifetime, the most concentrated evil that I've ever uh, seen and heard and witnessed in my life, and it's going on right now. And it doesn't matter what you believe and what you don't believe. It doesn't matter the, the, the toxic energy of this judgment or, or belittling or... Um, coercing or, or so many other words we can use but the energy that is around in and around people now is quite simply frightening and we have to be stronger than that so I guess my point being today and I was talking about something that was pretty important and people have contacted me and said that this is a great way to help those moments where you feel what do I do with this energy man I can't get rid of it I can't stop thinking negative. I can't stop feeling bad pain. I can't stop feeling the pain in my stomach. You know, my irritable bowel, my 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 uh, whatever. Was, you're physically struggling, right? Because of the, the spiritual battle we're going through right now and the people that are surrounding us with their negativity and our own negativity in the mind of what we're seeing and what we're focusing on. So I made a bag with gems and these gems are from, out, are from out of this world. And as a healer, I've worked with thousands of crystals, but one particular crystal that I've always talked about, and I share it to this day, is a crystal that absorbs. It's the only crystal I've ever seen absorb negative energy. And when you understand this, you understand that this crystal is probably one of the most powerful crystals in the world. If you can hold something that actually absorbs negative energy, it's incredible. Now you can do the same with having a bath with Epsom salts. You, you can use sea salt. Um, you can sit down and grab some, uh, some rice and hold it in your hands. These natural things help absorb as well. You can self heal yourself. You can use incense. I use natural oils which helped me tremendously. One of those is Paolo Santo. I use the natural squeeze Paolo Santo oil. And I use that in certain parts of my body. I couple that with sage oil. I couple that with frankincense and put them three together and they're a real magic mixture of the sacred cleansing of negative energy. Uh, I created a, a very beautiful sacred bottle specifically for the real work, the practitioners, the, those who work in the public eye, those who are struggling with people around them who constantly give them pain and suffering, this oil works. So just bear that in mind, write it down and go and buy it from your local store and mix them together and use them. But this one particular little bag is something that I used for many years and I used it on children predominantly children because they loved a little bag of of gems but I also used to give it to people who were in a terrible state now that's not only to do with other people affecting them but then their own demons and their own traumas that affected 
them too. So I created, having watched this one particular crystal absorbing negative energy, and I could see it when I laid the crystal on a client, I was like, am I seeing this? Am I actually, is, is the energy actually going into the crystal or is it going back into the client? And I'd move this crystal and then the energy would go into the crystal again. And I'd lift the crystal up and watch while the client was asleep. And I'd be looking and seeing, saying, no, it's going in. So it was moving up into the, into the crystal, but it wasn't going out. It was in there and it was just being absorbed just like the sea absorbs negative energy. Mother Earth absorbs negative energy. So I created a, a bag of these crystals. I worked with them for a few hours and then I just give them to clients, maybe a day, a week sometimes and say, okay, they're ready. And I'd gift them to the client. So these crystals are from out of this world. They are tektites and this is how you get them. You can go to your local store and buy some as long as they're genuine. And I've just now finished work on some bags and they're on my website and they're one of the fastest sellers and people really love them. I used to carry a bag all the time with me. I had one around my neck. I had one in one of my tool bags and I always kept them here. And I also put them in the drawers I put them all over actually. I have them all over the place. Here's some more tektites. This is how I work with them. But also from the bag, you can bring them out. You can put them in your pockets. You can hold them in the bag and just hold it against your stomach. Most negative energy sits in the stomach and the brain. Sometimes grief holds in the heart, but also can be in the eyes after what you've seen. Also by your ears, your temples, Okay, so you would use the bag and you would just hold the bag if you're in a meeting with somebody who's horrible. If you were trying to have a, a conversation with somebody and somebody's being hard with you, you hold the bag. They don't need to see what's in there, but you are holding on to it. It's a fantastic, fantastic uh, A fantastic way to help cleanse and clear and bring the body balance. So here's a, a few more. So my first few bags that I put on markbyesky.com a, a couple of months ago were filled with about this many. And they're smaller. You can see they're much smaller. But now I've got some bigger ones which equal the same weight but slightly bigger. So you can put one in each pocket back pocket you can put them in your bra some women put them in the bra some people use them in their hats scarves socks put them all over the body depending on where you want the energy to be absorbed I like to keep them in my pocket and the reason why is because they're close to my stomach and they're close to my back most negative energy when we are attacked is from the back and the stomach so putting them under your pillow when you're sleeping is also a fantastic thing to do. So that's one of the things I would use and suggest to clear negative energy. Sacred oil, like I said, is another one. You would use it on your stomach, your back, depending on what you're, you're seeing daily, you would rub it around here. Also a good place to put it is in the back of the neck. Whenever there is negativity in the body, you can feel it. It sometimes comes across as a, a, a pain. And we often make a mistake that we feel that we've got lower backache when in fact it could be many things. One could be that your liver needs cleaning, kidneys need cleaning, which cause backache, but also negative energy and the heaviness and the burden that we suffer from day to day. So a simple way to see if it is really physical or is it energetic energy, low vibration, dirty energy. Just take some Paolo Santo oil, natural. Frankincense oil, natural. 
and sage oil natural and rub it where your pain is and just be still if it's negative energy you'll find it moves follow that movement with the oil until it disperses again use the crystals at the same time as well it's fantastic it really is always drinking plenty of water when you're doing any kind of cleansing ritual is a brilliant thing because you're pouring new crystals inside your body with a glass of pure spring water. And the other thing is the negative energy that surrounds our body, which is in what's called an energetic frequency, a field. Uh, we are antennas. We're all kind of electrical. It's the only way we can put it, but we're far more than that. And within that field, it can get disrupted with radio waves, with microwaves, with 5G, with many different technologies that are happening through the black screen and so on. This energetic frequency can cause a disruption and then you can start feeling uh, many forms of disorientation. You can feel dizzy, you can feel sick, nausea, nausea. You can feel um, just like you feel sick, yeah, like you just feel, I just don't feel right. And then you'll start to feel pain in different places, sometimes the head uh, and, and so on. By cleansing your energy with sage, natural sage, by burning sage around the body and really burning it, and the smoke is what clears away the negative energy, the dirty energy which is around you. It's a brilliant thing to do. And the other one is Paolo Santo sticks. If you can get the sticks that you uh, can burn easily, the normal Paolo Santo sticks are very hard to burn. But we created some which are really, really easy to burn. And as you can see, easy to break. You just burn it and then use the smoke around your body for three minutes. By doing that, you'll find that within a span of 20 minutes of doing these kind of rituals you'll feel much better much faster and if you don't you can find yourself slipping and getting worse to the point that many people rush to a man in a white coat who gives you something that you deteriorate thereafter and it takes years to overcome the addiction of what they give you all what I suggest are, is not addictive although buying crystals can be addictive <laughs> But if you use these natural products, you'll heal faster. And because they're natural, they're, the only effect that you get from them is positivity, healing, happiness, joy, strength. Whereas if you go to a mainstream man in a coat, then you could get 20 to 50 side effects with what, you, what they suggest you take. So there is no thinking about it. There is no, oh, let me decide. The only form is the natural form. The only way is the natural way. The only way is the spiritual way. And when Mother Earth gives you what you need and you know you can feel it, you can feel it. It's incredible. So I guess that's it. I wanted to share a night story with you about my belief in the power of, in the greatest power, the most powerfulest way of protection, of cleansing, of clearing, of making you more body balanced. And just this little snippet of information, this little tiny workshop might make you think a little bit more and start to put some focus and start to really think serious about what I've been saying because you're never told this, you never will be told it, but it's important. And as a healer, when somebody says, what's the most important thing you've ever learned? Well, this is one of them. And I hope you embrace it. And I hope you go to your local health store and order some Paolo Santo natural oil and order some frankincense natural oil and order some sage and mix them together with a grape base oil like grapeseed. And whenever you feel down, rub it where I said, listen back to this video, use it. And also find yourself some nice Paolo Santo natural incense sticks, 100%.
and use it and cleanse your body and get yourself to the local herb store and order a big bag of sage and learn to burn sage and use the smoke to cleanse your energetic field. Go and get some salt, as long as it's natural, and put it in the bath. Get some rice and hold it in your hand and just sit there and breathe and put some nice music on and just let the work be done. Or get yourself to your local crystal store and say, please order me about 50, 60 grams of tectai, natural, not fake, tectai, and put them in a bag and try it, and give it a go. Or even wear a piece of tectai around your neck, but make sure you wear it low. So go and get yourself a nice pendant and wear it low, as low as you can, down to your belly button. These things make a difference. I've seen it with my eyes. I felt it with my own energy. And through the experience of all these years, I highly recommend these ways to help you overcome the suffering, the fear, the bullying of what goes on out there, directed at you every night in front of a black screen. I hope this serves you well. Thank you so much, guys for going to markbyerski.com and buying your authentic crystals, oils, incense, and now the beautiful teas that we're all on at this moment. Woof, fantastic. Night-night, guys. <laughs>